arrived at uh, at uh, to the how I can associate uh, probability distribution given a time series, and I say that it's important to include the the method the methodology that include the causa the temporal causality because in the other case you you don't obtain the good result uh, and I also mentioned that you have uh, two methods or at least the two proposals uh, one is uh, the given by Bant and Pompe that this is the word to discuss and the other is uh, using horizontal uh, uh, visibility graph but there's something similar okay then we try to discuss a little bit more about uh, Van and Pompe or the ordinal pattern also mentioned by Cristina uh, in which consist uh, uh, is just looking your time series uh, and the values and the, you decide to divide uh, in, in patterns of such uh, uh, length uh, and order the, this pattern or the values in uh, increasing value mm, and associated uh, this order uh, some some givens uh, is I take it associated the order zero one two or d minus one yeah this is the ordinal pattern that we are, are associated just looking what happened up uh, with uh, uh, the values of the of the, uh, of the time series yeah. But the interesting is uh, of the methodology is the uh, sorry I'm going to here is uh, the ban and bomb taking into account the causality in natural way. Uh, we can apply this methodology any kind of time series is uh, the only condition that we must do uh, for uh, for the ban and pump uh, as, uh, can be applied is that the that they don't depend essentially from the weak very weak stationarity and the amplitude are not taken into account. It's just order for the amplitude. Of course, I can extend in a in way to, uh, to include the amplitude, just consider how associated the, the uh, standard deviation of each pattern. But in principle, is, this is the only thing that, that I need. Uh, of course, uh, uh, another very important is that is in the the Van and Pompe distribution of the ordinal pattern is is invariant and the monotonic transform. This means just for the case of experimental data, this is very important because it, if we can multiply, uh, uh, make a zoom so, uh, uh, time series. This is not dependent of the probability distribution that we obtain. Yeah. And the only, uh, from practical point of view, uh, we must to take uh, the number of data that we need for uh, to make to make a, a good. Uh, uh, approximation uh, to the probability distribution must be that the number of data must be much greater than d factorial. This is the length of the pattern. Mm? Uh, 
And of course, uh, we can use the entropy complexity plane that if we use or the uh, pan, pan and pump uh, ordinal pattern for the probability distribution, this will be included the, the time causality, then will be uh, complexity uh, or the causal entropy complexity plane and also fischer shannon that we will see. Okay. Uh, and now I want to, to, to show how we can distinguish the different dynamics using this, uh, this tool, the, the causality entropy uh, complexity plane. Um, but we have uh, this characteristic for the chaotic map. We, have a, a, we will see that the localization of the chaotic map uh, will be almost near in the middle, as in the intermediate uh, entropies, but uh, in the complexity will be almost near to the maximum complexity. Uh, is, uh, we will see discuss a little bit about uh, how is the, the the behavior of these patterns when we have a, a um, car noise, as it re, uh, noise colored noise in additive form, and of course we we have the extreme the extreming that is. Uh, for uh, random noise, we have it in the extreme, uh, right extreme, and periodic are in the in the left extreme. Uh, mass, uh, and of course, we can see to try to understand what happened with the different correlations and so on. This is information that is included. And when we make uh, the entropy and the complexity, but basically, I mean, basically, this is a, this is a, a summary of the Baran Pompe methodology. But I, I explain. This is an example. Uh, I mean, we take uh, in the case of the. Mot the pattern length that we choose in this case is six. Yeah. We have uh, different, uh, say, uh, six different patterns, and this is an example. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this is the pattern all left, and this is uh, how in the in the time series. Of course, we can also. This is because uh, in this example, we have a, a sequential values of the pattern of the time series, but we can use a time delay, and then we can change the the sample. Uh, it means we change in such a way the sample time uh, in relation to. Uh, how we can define the best uh, sampling, uh, the sampling time? I will use. I also can. Uh, inf we have uh, some proposal that this the relation will be the, the best sampling time when you don't know nothing. Is make uh, the ordinal pattern, make a graphic of uh, entropy complexity plane, and see what happens when you are changing possible uh, time. And what you observe is something like this. Uh, okay. Of course, we don't have a, that if this, you start here, the, uh, suppose uh, this is one something time that is completely, almost completely decorrelated uh, with the noise or whatever. And we observe that make some kind of loop. 
when you have uh, the, 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 the return in this point, this is the good sampling time uh, for your system that you don't know nothing. Of course, we don't have a demonstration, just we have a uh, demonstra we demonstrated how this is the best sampling time for in order just for noisy data or something like this. Okay. Well, this is a, a, a scheme how we can uh, evaluate the, 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 the different patterns. I mean, we started with two values in this way, and we see how the, the different, this will be a pattern of dimension four, and how we can obtain the different pattern as a rule, and you make a, a probability distribution. Uh, okay. Okay, this is in the case. Of course, interesting is uh, in general, you can of see that uh, for some time series, especially for chaotic time series, you have a probability distribution. This is the uniform. Hmm? You compare with uniform. This is in the case of uh, period, almost periodic. But you see some patterns never appear in the case of chaotic time series. And this is a st a stable properly. That it means it's not important how long you take uh, the time series. Of course, it must be uh, the number of, 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 of the time series that we consider is much bigger than D factorial, but never happened. Uh, we have uh, some pattern in the case of uh, uh, chaotic time series never appear. Uh, this this pattern that never appear is called the called the, the forbidden pattern. Uh, I say in the case of st stochastic dynamics, if you have a, 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 long, a long time series, all the patterns will be appear uh, f finally. This is also we can have. Also, some special case in which you have also uh, forbidden pattern, but this is special to do in the way you generated the, the data. Uh, okay. Okay, this is uh, uh, the, the, the different ordinal pattern for D equal 4. This, uh, I think uh, Christina just showed you. This is D equal 5. We have 120 different patterns. For dimension 6, you have uh, 70, 20, 70, 22, as is 6 factorial. Mm? And return to the case of. Uh, uh, when we compare yesterday what happened with the logistic map uh, and no, uh, uh, noise, and we see exactly that now we can differentiate. Uh, in the case of ca ca uh, for ca uh, logistic map, for white noise, we have the uh, normalized entropy value is near to one, and the complexity will be almost to zero, but in the case of the logistic map, we have uh, something in, the in between. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a, a good uh, uh, differentiation. This is something that we can uh, propose just if you want to experiment it with the logistic map, we can generate it using the calculate the complexity with the sensor channel, uh, this disequilibrium with the logistic. Uh, and I give you the uh, 
the the extreme values, uh, the the, quote, the quotas values. Uh, you can only need to for the uh, for the for the file you have the C factorial. This is the expansion, the the real dimension, embedding dimension that you are using for calculate the uh, the probability distribution. Yeah, you can do it. This just for experimented un poco, a little bit. Well, uh, but this is a, a, an example of what happened, which is the behavior of the ordinal part, uh, entropy uh, causality entropy complexity plane. In the case of uh, these different uh, uh, chaotic maps, this is uh, some, this is uh, something that is a uh, uh, Schuster map. The Schuster map is something that uh, have a interval of burst and some in period uh, in the with uh, uh, not activity, and we can see that this why this in this case the the point are more it's a mixing between order and chaos eh? the ca the, and we want to compare what uh, ordinal uh, yeah, we, uh, the behavior of uh, stochastic dynamics for stochastic dynamics we, we can use uh, the car noise or this is a noise with power spectrum in in the relation the the frequency one to the f to the k hmm? k equals zero is white noise and the other is a, di a different co colored noise this is are uh, moving almost in the entropy complexity plane uh, this is for uh, dimension six and tau is the ordinary uh, the time lag equal one but we see this are uh, localized almost in between the curve or the quotas uh, or the maximum entropy uh, maximum complexity and entropy and this can give me some information uh, we can use this information when you have a, something that is completely new. Try to see how close are from the noise, or and, and now I will show you in the case uh, when we added some additive noise. Uh, we have this in the next step. Um, well, ah, the other kind of. Uh, Stochastic dynamics is a fractional Brownian motion and also fractional Gaussian noise. Uh, this is almost following similar behavior. Well, this is uh, the, the, the different uh, system that I use for to, to characterize in the map. This is the part of uh, just to see what happened near to the extremely completely of uh, ordinal noise equal zero. Um, basically, uh, we have uh, we the representation that the, the behavior, the general behavior, we have an entropy complexity plane. This is kind of half moon. <laughs> Uh, all the, uh, the for the chaotic system, poor uh, without uh, noise, we have seen. On the scale, we see here is localized near to the maximum of the maximum complexity, or the maximum complexity curve. This is something that uh, in between, and the behavior of like a stochastic or fractional Brownian motion or canoise 
we have a behavior from the different chaotic behavior, some degrees uh, of uh, chaotic uh, from uh, noise, and we can see use this in order to classify um, uh, this decide which kind of dynamics are represented by our behavior. Uh, as, as I say, this is uh, uh, in the case of chaotic dynamics. We have a, a ordinal pattern, forbidden ordinal pattern. This is uh, uh, Yes, uh, what, what I say that is a uh, proposal by Amigo and company. Uh, yes, it's uh, important that this is a persistent feature, uh, okay? Because it's not important how long the time series is. If they have a or, uh, forbidden pattern, they will be still appear. Maybe at the be at the beginning, if the series is too too short, we can see or confuse uh, the no appearance of uh, some pattern, like uh, they say, okay, this is a in reality they are missing pattern. Yeah? Patterns, they are missing. Uh, well. Uh, this is in the case of logistic uh, map. Uh, this is the number of uh, the logistic map. As I say, the, the pattern all decay is uh, the pattern in the of length three or the, the uh, two one zero that is decaying never appear. And this is, of course, when we increase the the pattern length, the, all the the, the pattern related with this uh, forbidden pattern don't, don't appear, and uh, we can we can see the the different uh, uh, forbidden pattern that appear. Uh, of course, it's important that. A stochastic process could be forbidden pattern, but, but depend of how the, uh, the case. Um, well, this is some discussion about how we can uh, appear or not appear uh, some pattern that we can observe. The basically is because. Uh, we need a, a time series length enough for to up all the, all the appear, and then we can maybe we in the case we, when you are not sure which kind of dynamics you are studying, you need to to choose uh, different embedding dimension, uh, different pattern length, and to see if it happen or not. In some moment, the, all the, uh, the forbidden pattern will be appear and it will be established independent of uh, we increase the, the pattern, uh, the time series length. Hmm? Uh, one interesting approach is that called uh, the permutation mean entropy. The permutation mean entropy consists in just evaluate the, the, the range entropy. In the range entropy, uh, in with uh, with uh, ordinal pattern, is uh, depend of the factor, the Q factor, uh, or some parameter. But the idea is to take the, uh, you make the ordinal pattern and take the, the pattern that give you the, the maximum uh, contribution yeah, in the pattern line. This means equivalent to, to take uh, 
in this expression, for the, for the, the probability, and uh, evaluate when Q goes to infinity. Yeah? This give me the contribution of the maximum pattern there. Uh, yeah? And we can, we can identify different uh, uh, events or some summary for the characterization they was using for identify the the Q minimum in the case of uh, epileptic seizures or other kind of thing. Uh, what the hell? This is the minimum. Okay, we take Q equal uh, to infinito, and of course we can make and the, fi the final is you take do you take the logarithm of the maximum contribution of the pattern then that you are considered. Uh, of course, they, they have all the properties like uh, uh, the permutation entropy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the the second the, the second interesting point is just you see me. Well, what happened with the ordinal pattern or the entropy complexity plane when you add some additive noise? Uh, the idea was okay. We can start uh, with the reference the the uh, the, uh, the the logistic map in the representation of the map, and we add uh, different amplitude of the k noise uh, or noise depending uh, with a spe power spectrum one over f. This is um, okay. We start here. In this case, as uh, will be uh, the representation in uh, ordinal uh, entropy complexity plane with k equal uh, with uh, amplitude of the noise equal zero. And he increased the amplitude. Uh, and here we see the the, the return map yeah, with uh, different kind of uh, amplitude, the noise, and we can see how is the behavior in the plane. This is what happened. Uh, with different the velocity map will be uh, here. This is with zero amplitude, and now uh, we represent the different uh, car noise that we have, that we want to, uh, for this, of course, uh, in this case, the number of, uh, 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 the, 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 that, the, the number of data of the logistic map and the number of data for the car noise must be the, the equal, yeah? And we see for the different car noise, they started to move for something. Nias uh, is zero, and this uh, increases the, the correlation of the noise. And we see that this is almost following also the curve of the maximum complexity. And uh, we try to see something about that. And uh, this is, uh, okay, I uh, increase the amplitude and try to see what happened. That we see, in this case, uh, if we can uh, add uh, 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 white noise, this we see that the the, the original point that this is the, with amplitude zero, they started to move following the curve the, of maximum complexity. Here we will increase the amplitude, the value of the amplitude. The same, I, I will see that they, they, they are moving. Hmm? Oh, they have uh, different values. 
we put all together <laughs> here and see, okay, we have uh, this behavior, in this case, uh, uh, we started here, uh, not here, the non-perturbed, and we observe that this is this is started to move following the curve of the maximum complexity and until some moment that the the point started to return because this is for the the, the point of uh, pure noise that we are considering and we see well why this happened well this is happened because at the beginning uh, we have the perturbation, the noise perturbation is additive noise, and it's a, it's, a, it's a perturbation to the logistic map, yeah? But in some moment, that is, we started to increase the amplitude, uh, the amplitude greater than one, or, uh, we see that the, in this region, we previously had uh, to, to change, we have a, a interrelation uh, the also the, the 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 logistic map and the noise are at the same uh, intensity uh, the same behavior i mean the behavior that is not more considered one is a perturbation to the other and when this uh, this curve return change and now uh, the perturb the logistic map will be a perturbation to the noise. Yeah, this is the see, and this this is explain why. And this the point that the the critical point that we change from the the same behavior or the same intensity to logistic and noise. This is depend of the uh, the degree or the k degree of the noise and also the which is uh, your dynamical system that you are analyzing, yeah? Uh, the interesting is that at the beginning with amplitude uh, near, uh, near the, the, the case of the noise is a perturbation, we have a, a very small fluctuation in the in the entropy and the complexity in this region in the region where uh, both are at the same level uh, they have a b bigger distribution of uh, of uh, behavior okay. this is the behavior with the, the, the case the k equal to 2 and we see with the values uh, we obtain until here. Uh, this is a small amplitude. Here, this is the part of uh, uh, at the same level, perturbation, noise, and the dynamical system are the same. Here, it's an, an amplitude of 80. Uh, and then started to return and converge to the real noise, the corresponding. Um, I think I have a, here this is something that I say with a dispersion. This is the biggest dispersion in entropy and in, co in complexity will be small at the beginning and the, in this this part, and also when we have a dominance of the noise, and the logistic will be a perturbation, but in the in between at the same level are different uh, behavior. Yeah. And we can, of course, one way to to see why this happened is just looking. Graphic, make a graphic of the different uh, probability distribution, and we see here uh, that I say this is the original uh, probability distribution for, uh, for this case, and we started to increase uh, the, uh, perturbation 
to the logistic, but with the colored noise, k equal to, of course, uh, in the paper uh, for k equal zero, this is really fast go to the extremely right, yeah, the removing. But this, what is, this, uh, this destroy the appearance or uh, the pattern that never, uh, that are forbidden, yeah? Uh, we see here uh, how we increase the amplitude, and we can see we are appear more and more um, and try to to be more uh, here uh, difference in the probability distribution. And this is uh, something that we can see uh, information about how these forbidden patterns are destroyed by uh, the additive noise. Uh, with, with some colored noise, yeah? Uh, okay. Uh, what is this, something the logistic mark? Well, now we can define, we see what happened in the case of the Fisher information when we evaluated with uh, uh, ordinal pattern that I said uh, yesterday that the, the case of Fisher this is uh, pro uh, proportional to the gradient of the distribution which basically we have uh, this non-local uh, distribution okay this is the case of uh, Okay, uh, the logistic map uh, in the biggest uh, window, periodic windows. This is the Lyapunov, and this is how the, we define the different uh, uh, regions and chaotic regions. Um, in the case of uh, the Fisher, due to we have a difference between probability distribution, yeah. We need to, if we change the order, in the case uh, of the Shannon, we don't have any problem. We, well, we can change the order uh, in the, uh, with the uh, we identify the pattern, and this is, will be uh, some patterns, but it's not important in which order I will identify, yeah? because this is a global uh, distribution. In the case of the uh, Fisher, yes. The, if we can change the order of the pattern that uh, we appear, they will be obtain different uh, Fisher, Fisher value. Yeah. Uh, okay. In this case, is uh, the better order for identify the epsilon or the order of the pattern is the lexicographic order or the lem also called the, the, the lemmer order for the how you order the, the, the patterns yeah this is some something that we can see here huh? this is an example okay this is uh, our first uh, order that we use uh, uh, with uh, the in the case of logistic map that I show you previously in this case uh, and this is using the lexicographic Olemer order we, and we see that happen is the, the different uh, patterns of the region appear clearly definite. Yeah? They are more separated than the, than the other. Um, okay. Uh, well, the, this is in the, in the completely uh, spectrum of the Diapunov exponent and the logistic map. As you say, this is the case of entropy complexity plane, and due to uh, we have a, 
the behavior of the logistic map is almost following the curve of the or very close to the curve of maximum complexity. But if we make uh, the fissure, we see uh, we see expand all the parameters uh, behavior, and this is very important, interesting. Uh, just for to see or visualize the different dynamics. Hmm? Uh, this is another example. This is the lay logistic map. This is uh, have uh, the hop bifurcation. This means we have uh, in this region. Here we uh, have a periodic window, seven, yeah, periodic window seven, and this is a region of chaotic. And we can see in the logistic uh, entropy complexity plane, uh, again, almost are following the, col the curve of the very close to the curve of maximum complexity. But in the fissure, we can see. Uh, the difference, the representation of the different behavior. Uh, I think you have uh, something more. Well, this is the case of, again, with the many of the uh, patterns, uh, entropy complexity plane, and the case of uh, many uh, or the uh, uh, patterns, the curve of the maximum uh, entropy uh, K noise is here, and we can see all, all the all the max uh, all the, uh, the 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 chaotic behavior are in this very close to the curve of maximum complexity. Uh, this is the case of Fisher. In the case of the Fisher, again, we have a, a, the curve 1 over f to the k noise are separately uh, separate the, the behavior of the chaotic uh, behavior. This is uh, the region that we have a very uh, Noisy uh, or aspect of noisy in the uh, part in the chaotic maps, but this is almost in this. Um, one more, and okay, this is what we le left for tomorrow, and then uh, as I say. This is the behavior or the application of uh, entropy complexity plane of Fisher, uh, Fisher Shannon or Shannon Fisher. Uh. This is good for uh, visualization of the dynamics, uh, dependent of the uh, what you want to to see. Um, okay. And left uh, the analysis of, in the case of uh, epileptic seizure for tomorrow, and some uh, idea about how we can transform or apply to complex system or complex uh, dynamics uh, using an adaptation of the entropy uh, fissure or entropy. Shannon, Fisher Shannon behavior that is uh, appear uh, I give you in the in the plane, but uh, this is we can we can stop it here. Yeah. <laughs> Questions. Thank you, Osvaldo. Okay. Questions so far. No, and then I have a curiosity. Can you go back to the second slide or third one? Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of all your talk. Well, the, the, the slides of the chaos, yeah, this one. But at, the begin, at the beginning that you have the, the, the map, ah, the map. The thing was, 
aquí. Mira, this one. This is the minimum <laughs> entropy. It, it, it will arrive, it will arrive. Yes, 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 we have a time. Yeah, before this. It, this yeah, for no. instance, in this one or the one that, that, that actually you had some uh, dots actually. I think it was back, back, one more, back. Ah, this one is, I like, I like this one a lot, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, imagine that they have ex experimental data. Hmm? Yeah. Imagine that they have experimental data Same. of, new, in my case, neurons, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that they um, appear in this map somewhere, okay. Mm -hmm. Then if I, uh, if I do some, let's say, uh, alterations in the data, Mm -hmm. Yeah, will the results hold? Alterations mean if I add random noise to the signal, if I, if I, make, if I make surrogates as I explained yesterday, yeah. will, data, will the, the data change? The mm -hmm. all, all these dots will change abruptly from one region to another or they will hold in place? No, no, they, they move. In the they, they will move a lot? Yeah, they okay, move. okay. They move. I mean, this is that they have a, the logistic that is very close, uh, the logistic, the uh, head on, uh, the, the, the most tra uh, uh, okay. traditional map that mm -hmm. are, uh, there are uh, there. If you add some additive noise, For instance, with, yeah. some, with some degree, uh, cano we, we call this uh, the canoise because we can one over F, uh, to the K for the power spectrum, that is the increase in the correlation and the, okay. uh, in, the, in the noise. They started to move uh, to the left. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You, you, for one side, you say, okay, I can see what is the representation and entropy complexity plane uh, the, of the pure noise. That is something like this in blue or alpha or in green. But they, they, they move the, 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 the point. Uh -huh. If the, the noise is something perturbed to the, the dynamical system. Okay. If the perturber increases the importance uh, that they are the both at the same level, uh -huh. then they started to uh, continue until at some point they have a, a critical value of the amplitude that they started to go, go, go back. And this is the, due to the, now the, the, the dynamical noise, the, the, the dynamical system is a perturbation to the noise. Okay. But this is okay. as in the, the okay. Of course, now I, um, we have the project to analyze what happened with multiplicative noise, <laughs> but uh, I don't have uh, the results. And yes. then, any, any other questions? No, because I, I'm, ah, yeah, one, one, one question. And of course, you can use uh, chat for the, the description. Mm -hmm. We have a, a many description in the case of uh, big vehicular circulation, uh, which just looking which is the behavior of the some canoes, that this is something that we can say the some reference, when, especially when you don't know nothing about the, the dynamical system that you are studying. Uh, that you say, okay, we can associate this with uh, some no dynamical system with an addition of some canoes, that is uh, the standard that we use, uh, that this kind of thing. Yes. Yes, Professor. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I use the HEC plane for for examining my my data, uh -huh. the complexity and entropy measures, uh -huh. and I can figure out where is it, if is it a stochastic, is periodic using using the plane, your entropy mm -hmm. entropy complexity plane. Mm -hmm. When we use the entropy and feature information measure plane, mm -hmm. what can, what advantages advantage or difference can I found? Using the using the plane with the same yeah, data. essentially n not uh, that uh, in the case of entropy complexity, right? Which uh, yeah, all, all the values are very close. Is a characteristic of the chaotic dynamics. They are very close to the curve of the maximum complexity taken at intermediate values of the entropy. Yeah, but. 
is he, but all, all are in the same region, I can say. But, uh, uh, this is the case. For example, this is an entropy complexity plane. And you see, this is for the completely between uh, all the possible values of the complexity for the logistic map. Uh, you see here, uh, all the values are similar. And we can distinguish nothing. As I say, yeah, this is a behavior from something that is chaotic. Mm? But what happens when I use the, the, the Fisher? the Fisher or the Shannon Fisher plane. Uh, they started to, to due to that this uh, is a local behavior, as they, I mean, an and, and entropy complexity plane, uh, but the behavior is between the same minimum, uh, the entropy goes, uh, the plane goes go between zero and one, and the, between the uh, minimum complexity and the maximum complexity. In the case of Fisher, uh, Shannon Fisher, you have a, a, the plane now is between zero and one, cross zero and one. Yeah? And due to that it is dependent of a, a, a local versus, uh, versus global, uh, global versus local, behavior, we can s separate the different behavior and the different region. Uh, this gives me the, the additional information. Could be we can make uh, some three-dimensional graph, I mean, including now here the, the, except, uh, the, the complexity. We can also do it in the ca case of uh, uh, some neural and other, but in three dimension it's much difficult to see the, the real behavior. They then give me some complementary information. And of course, we must to decide which is the order that uh, the epsilon, uh, the E order of the pattern that we nominate the pattern, because remember that uh, the fissure is the difference between the, is proportional to the difference of the, di the different probability distribution. That if we change the order, we can obtain another uh, value for the fissure. The, the, the most interesting is that in the case of uh, lexical order, lexicographic order, E, oh, Alia, that is an order proposed by Lemmer. This is the best, and it give me the, this kind of behavior. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 essentially, it's the same system. In uh, case, it's more dependent, in the case of the Shannon Fisher, <coughs> it's, more, it's better when you want to see the, the, the difference or something, what happened when you can change in, in the, the para, uh, parameters, in the specific parameters in your dynamical system that you are studying. Yeah? Okay. I, of course, but you can see that this is interesting because it's not so many people use it yet, uh, the, Shannon, the, the Shannon Fisher. Essentially, if you have uh, calculated the probability distribution, the Van and Pope probability distribution, you can also, again, calculate the, the Fisher and try to see what happened. I think I will. Yeah? <laughs> thank you. Yeah. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. Any, any other comments, questions? No? Then let's thank Osvaldo again. OK.